Hi, I'm John Brain, a tutor at Barrel Art Gallery, BDAS here, and I teach portraits. Now, uh, due to the coronavirus, uh, we've had to look at bringing the courses online, and um, this video really deals right from the start, where we do a self-portrait in black and white with acrylics. Now, I'll take you through all the materials you need, but they're pretty basic, and we can do it by following the video and communicating over you know the FaceTime, Google Hangouts or the WhatsApp etc. By the end of the course we hopefully will have a situation where you can enter things like the Archibald or the Coach Prize here and um, have the confidence that you will always start a portrait um, and achieve a distinct likeness. So let's get started. Now, as I said earlier, uh, this is designed to be able to do it at home um, as it's an online course. Now, the materials, I'll just go through the materials, they're pretty basic. Well, first of all, I mean, a mobile phone, okay? Now, that is what you'll photograph and you'll email to me your image, which I will prepare for you. Email there on the bottom of the screen. Now, uh, just your brushes. You'll have a couple of brushes which, you know, reasonable sizes sort of thing, are thick and a couple of fine ones. That's all we need for this basic start. Um, acrylic, uh, tube of white and tube of black. That's all you need. Um, get, uh, get these uh, food, food dishes which... Um, You'll have the water in there, and you can mix your paint on the top of this. Um, paper towel. I've got um, also, um, you know, a tea towel, which will, which will help you out. Now your canvas, um, let's see that probably if I put that to, to the side of me there. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a bit bigger than an A4 but it uh, takes the size of a head very nicely. And we'll be doing all this in A4 size. Um, now, probably an unusual one, but uh, th this is so that you can improvise at home and getting the image onto the canvas. We use, uh, can you see this? Uh, a clear cell phone top, a uh, clear plastic top, which often you get at um, office works for sort of presentation folders, etc. And to go on to that, a um, white, pen, white board pen um, that will do the tracing on. So those are all the materials, pretty basic. There they are just on the, on the side of the, the screen, just so that you remember them. Um, and so we'll get started. The first thing we're going to do is you take a selfie with your mobile phone, you email it to me, then I will process it on the computer, print it out, and uh, or, or email it back, and you can print it out and then trace it and get it on your canvas. Okay, we'll take this we'll take this through in steps. Now this is where you get the mobile image onto the canvas. Now I get it onto my computer, I then manipulate it round put a background in and then change it to black and white. I then print it out. And now this is where I mentioned the clear perspex later. Lay that on top of your print that you've got, which is an A4 print. And with your um, marker, trace it round all the areas and um, outline the uh, entire image. I'll speed it up for you. Um, now, when you're finished, you put that in the back of your canvas, but uh, around the right way. And then you put that up to the light um, and with a carbon uh, pencil, charcoal pencil, just uh, outline all the areas so that um, you're transferring it onto the canvas. Now, it's on the canvas and it's really like painting by numbers. So mix up your black and white uh, and the, the, into your various greys uh, and that. Um, start with the blacks, start with the dark colours, 
paint it up and then you'll find very quickly that you've got a portrait that has got a likeness. Easy, isn't it? And you get a likeness and you can do it at home while this coronavirus thing happens. Um, now, doing it in black and white teaches you tonal values and where the light's coming from. It's far easier to do these things in black and white. They actually are more dramatic uh, than when you move in colour because colour gets pretty complicated. Uh, but we'll cover that in, we'll break it down for you in the, in the following courses. Uh, but in the meantime, paint as many of these as you can. They, they make great presents, as you can see here, uh, that I've done, children, grandchildren, um, even pets. So, okay, keep painting.